the bell icon to turn on notifications. If an Asana member is defined as the admin, they can have access to the admin console to administrate the account. The admin console is available when you click on your profile picture and then click on the admin console. Let's go through the different options available. First, the homepage of the admin console gives you some insights about the account, how many members you have, how many teams, project and task, as well as an engagement graph and some insights about who are the most influential members or the most active teams. Then you are able to go deeper into the members. You know how many members and guests you have, how many pending invites you have and the number of seats available. For each member, you can actually edit the profile settings yourself. You can change their name as well as their role, pronouns, teams, bio, as well as their membership. You can actually turn them into an admin directly from that view. You can't change the picture though. For each member, you can also have access to the team they have access to and change those settings by clicking on those specific buttons. And inside the security, you can ask them to reset that password as well as enable the two-factor authentication on that account. You can also log out all sessions for this account in case that person left the company. The same thing is available for the teams. You can go through all the teams you have and have information about the number of members, the privacy settings, as well as the creation date and who created them. You can also edit the team by changing the name, changing the privacy settings, as well as the members list. Inside the billing section, you will have information about the kind of plan you on. In that case, this is an enterprise organization. You do also have access to your renewal date, as well as the different invoices you have, the number of seats you pay for, and how many seats you are currently using. You also have the identity of the billing owner and the ability to contact the support directly. The security section gives you access to settings about logins and authentication mechanism, as well as asking for a specific password strength or resetting password for everyone or specific members. You also have access to settings to define who can invite guests, the kind of file attachment people can attach, the team privacy settings by default, as well as activate or deactivate the access to the universal reporting feature. You can also determine who are the admins. Not all those settings are available to everyone. Some of those are only available to the enterprise plan. The settings section allows you to change your organization or workspace name, as well as upload some custom branding to have a logo in the top right corner of the account. You can also define all the email domain that are linked to your organization, and you can request a domain export to save as an archive. Finally, the apps section gives you some insights about some apps that are available, the ability to create service accounts, as well as access to different resources inside the guide and inside the academy. So as an admin, make sure to check out the admin console on a regular basis and go through the members and the teams to make sure that everything is in order. And also check out that console on a regular basis to see if there are any new features available for you to use as an admin. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.